tock, tick, tock, tick, tock. God damn, that was going to slay you. <laughs> What's up, everybody? My name is Wolf from 64. Welcome back to Let's Play August Star Rail. Dude, and you mock me. Dude, you are a hotel devil, aren't you? All you do is tick, tock, tick, tock, tick, tock. Okay, well, you know what? I, I'm just tired. I just. Just tired. Let me sleep. Oh, hello. Over there. See that? That used to be the worst street in Rivet Town, and it's also where I grew up. My friends and I used to wander those streets, thinking about where to find our next meal. That is, until Chief. Oh. There, I learned oh. to read and write from Natasha. At the age of 10, I started to patrol the mines with Oleg, occasionally getting into fights with the local thugs. Hmm. Uh, that sounds nice. Nice? Are you being sarcastic with me? Oh, no, sorry. Life in the underworld is difficult. I shouldn't be speaking about it so lightly. Ugh, you're always so serious. It really gets on people's nerves sometimes, you know? I'm so serious, Bronya. <sighs> right. Uh, what I meant was... <sighs> I kind of envy you, Zila. For as long as I can Zila. remember, my days have been an endless cycle of studying, etiquette lessons, and training. Every day, all I hear is, Remember who you are, Bronya. This is against the architect's admonishments, Bronya. Ladies shouldn't use such foul language, Branya. Branya, you must wear this kind of, uh, you know what, no, I'm not gonna go into there, um... <laughs> Some may envy this kind of life, but I have felt trapped when every choice and every goal has already been made for you. <laughs> you probably can't imagine how that feels. No, I can't. But more importantly... What kind of foul language are you using? You know, I'm actually using it too. One. In the name of the architects, I shall stick this spear into your nostril. <laughs> 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 that's it? <laughs> oh, that's nothing. Looks like I'll have to teach you some underworld slang before you go back. <laughs> no. No, that won't be necessary. No, Barnia, you must... You know who you are. You ha you're from the underground, so you must know this underground slang. You know what I'm saying? Eh? Okay, what I'm <laughs> It'll be better than poking people's nostrils, at least. <sighs> I never thought that I'd be here having a heart to heart with the future guardian. As a kid, I didn't meet many people who lived in the overworld. I only heard stories from the grown ups and figured you were all just a bunch of cold snobs. I've heard from some Silvermane veterans that before the orders were made to seal off the underworld from the overworld, there was no difference between the two places. Everybody ate the same food, chatted about the same topic, celebrated the same festivals. So, basically everyone worked in, har worked in harmony. Even though times are different now, things like the joys and sorrows of life, the ties between people, these precious things must certainly still connect us all. If there is a way to bridge the gap between the two worlds, we can definitely go back to the time when you and I were not divided. When we could stand side by side against the eternal freeze and the fragmentum. <laughs> I'm not like you. I don't have that many grand plans for the future. But if that's the future you want, I'm willing to build this bridge with you. Aww. Thank you, Zila. Your trust is very important to me. Speaking of which, um, what are you going to do next? What Svarog revealed must have made quite an impact, huh? Yes. I thought I was prepared for anything, but as long as I am the Guardian's successor, hmm. those truths will come out sooner or later. But why does my mother hide it from me, and why does she want me to hunt down the outsiders who know about the nature of the Stellaron? Keep the silence. It doesn't make sense. Uh, she's probably still wants to hide the hides the truth, and also she's probably trying. She tried to um, what's the word I'm like? Oh yeah, that's right. Shape you into making sure you'll end up like her. I thought it over. There's only one thing I can do. 
Go ask her directly. You... Hold on. You're not really going, are you? A alone? You can't. This plan is... I've already thought it through, Zila. I am Madame Kokolia's daughter. That will never change. Mm -hmm. Be it my duties as her heir or as a Silvermane guard, I must face my problems head on. Even if... <sighs> Branya. Uh. This is for you, Zila. Please help me pass it on to the outsiders. If... If I am unable to see you again, they'll know what to do. Okay, I understand. You've made up your mind, and there's nothing I can say that will change it. But remember this. If you run into trouble, I will come to save you, no matter what. Mm. And I'll be waiting for you. Awesome. <laughs> so, did you come to this spot when you were a child? Of course. I just didn't appreciate how nice it was at the time. <sighs> Very nice. Very nice for the both of you, huh? There they go, going off on dark room. There they go, going on to for a little nice chat. Mark, uh, that was a good sleep. <laughs> for once, huh? I should go meet up with March and Danhong. Okay, okay, I can't let that be my obsession. What's a Boulder Town? Okay. All right, here we go. Back in the outside world, I finally got some sleep. What's up? Took you long My enough, homies? sleepyhead. We've been waiting all day. I've noticed that our sleep routines don't match up. You either keep getting up in the middle of the night or snoozing away until the day's almost out. Unacceptable. You gotta work on your teamwork. Nope. Hmm. Just Did you jealous. have a dream again last night? Nope. Not this time. I dreamt about the hooked and pom pom. Got into a squabble. <laughs> you know what? Huh, this is that's weird. I bet the conductor won, right? Well then, let's go find Wildfire to discuss her next move and see if. Let's go! I can't wait to finally get back above ground. Me too. All right, and I'm actually excited because um, uh, oh, the, some other uh, stuff I've heard was that um, uh, twenty nine. It's okay. I have enough for at least. I want to say four summons. I mean, four warps, perhaps? Or maybe there's, that's just song. Um, well, I have enough for 30, at least. 30, 30 warps. Hopefully, 30. Because um, I heard that Kafka is coming oh, out, and she's the character I want out of everyone. It's the Bane of Sfarag, the big hero of the underworld. And the other big heroes, Dan Hung and March 7th. Were those lines rehearsed? Where's Natasha? Is she here? She has a bunch of other things to attend to. So I hope <laughs> you don't mind talking to this <clears throat> old man instead. I speak on behalf of Natasha. That's By fine. the way, sorry for keeping that whole thing about her being the actual leader of Wildfire a <coughs> secret. <laughs> nah, you had your reasons. It's a matter anyways. What I, what I, ha what I happen to trust, I'm not seeing the apology here. I'm glad you don't mind. Natasha is always cautious, but she has no ill intent, as you surely have noticed. Mm -hmm. She told me to make sure you return to the overworld safely. I gave it some thought, and I think the safest way is to ask this fellow for help. I brought you down. I can take you back up. Free of charge. Satisfaction guaranteed. Better There's tempo. no need to knock us out this time, right? Of course not. This time, we'll go back through the furnace core. And why do we need you? Just tell us the path before. You... Just tell us the path that path you used. Oh, like, give me someone else. <laughs> okay. That would be problematic and dangerous. Trust me, we should go through the furnace core. Ugh, enough chatter. Just be a good guide. For once in your life, Sam. Hold on. What about Branya? Why isn't she here? She already went back. As you know, she has some things to settle with the Supreme Guardian. Right. What? Her Maja. She just ditched us and went back? 
How could you let her? She she's not going to help us. She ha she also has her own plan. She left with a sample? Okay, she has her own plan. Exactly. She has a lot of responsibilities. I don't completely understand, but I trust that she's trying to solve the problem. Oh, right. right. Branya told me to give you this. What is it? She left us a letter. Hmm. Could this be one of those open in case of emergency letters? I've never gotten one of those before. Should we wait until we run into something dangerous? Stop overthinking and just open it. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> okay, for once, I'm actually gonna read this. Okay, Super Buffalo 64, March, and and Don Hang. By the time you read this letter, I should have returned to the overworld and be on my way to see my mother. I apologize for not telling you my plan. I was afraid that you would have strongly object, which is, which might sway my resolve. Medical Koholi erased me, and I will never be able to repay her kindness. She taught me countless like lessons and virtues, as well as how to defend Bellabog and its people. Even though she has lately made certain decisions that puzzle me, I can't let go of all the precious memories I've had with her. I must communicate my point of view and thoughts to her honestly and seek to arrive at a mutual understanding with her. This is my goal as a daughter, but also my duty as, the, as a silver man guard. But I'm aware of the risk I might face on this journey, so... But if I fail to win my mother's approval or if something happens to me, please, please... Excuse me. Please forward this letter to the Landu siblings and ask for help. Several and Savaro and Japard are honorable people with enormous power in Bellabog. I have complete faith in them. I'm sure they will unreservedly help you in your search for the Stellaron once they see my seal and handwriting. Branya Ran. Brother and sister Landau? I know the brother must refer to Japard, but. Who could the sister be? Oh, Sir Val! So she's Japard's older sister. Wait, Sir Val? Okay. Oh, that's one! How very astute to you! I hope nothing happens to Branya. Maybe the sister refers to Japard. <laughs> okay. Okay, but anyways. She gave it some good thought. But whatever's going on in that Supreme Guardian's head... <sighs> Even Branya might have trouble understanding. Sampo, do you know the Landau siblings? Landau? Uh, yeah, we're all friends. I've mostly dealt with the younger brother in the past, but the sister? <laughs> She's much scarier. Uh, today's supposed to be a day of celebration, so let's not talk about it right now. Mm. We can set out at any time. Just come find me when you're ready. Yeah, yeah, whatever. And there we go. Not good and farewells. Complete. Let's see. Cleansing the darklets outside. Continue after reaching... So, wait, wait, wait. So, I have to complete this mission first. Okay, trouble is, guys. Clearing... Oh, let's wait to increase the trail blaze level. Mr. Diggs. Outsider, I finally got your contact. I have something to tell you. Bosca has been talking every day about what we need to try some business models. He's quite worked up. Okay. Um... Where are you? Sure, I'll go see him right now. Who is Scott? I never heard of him. Hmm, why not? I'll just be straightforward about it. Nice, I knew you were the right person to ask. Anyway, I'll go talk to Boss Scott. When you have the time, I'll guarantee you. Okay. So this is- So that's it? Okay, hang on. No, I shouldn't say that's it, because... I have some missions to complete, and I have to go up to Trailblaze 24, which is, I'm perfectly fine with that. I need to build up some level and everything. I will pass. And honestly, I to develop my characters too, as well. So this is actually going to be a big help to me. Alright, and unfortunately, guys, you guys will probably have to wait up and see um, what I'm going to be doing up. What I'm going to be up to until, <laughs> until I find... Well, actually, no. I'm. It's probably gonna be a bit of a way for me to bring back, bring myself back, and everything like that. Looking for a ticket? Um, because I'm gonna be developing characters. So, so, um, so Honkai Saro will be not a permanent 
permanent pause, of course, but until I can raise up my characters to be a lot more stronger and a lot more dependable. So guys, this is the end of the video. So guys, thank you everyone so much for watching. Thank you. If you guys like, like if you guys like the video, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up button, share the video as well, guys. Please share the video, guys. It's gonna help my channel go and it's also grow and it's also gonna get my videos out there. So please share the video. Also, guys, if you guys wanna share your thoughts on the video, go ahead and comment down in the comment section down below. And once you guys do all that and you guys like my content and you guys wanna want to see more of it, hit the red subscribe button. Also, don't forget that lovely little bell to receive all notifications. I am Super Bowl 64. This has been Hunkai Star Rail. Peace out and God bless you all.